when you go into a, a theater of combat, you get there's medals and, and uh, everything. You you get the you you were in you were in uh, in that theater of war, but. But they I, don't just hand out medals. I mean, uh, you know, you you have to earn them. Well, I mean, you, you, yeah, you you don't you don't get uh, court-martialed and you don't desert, and if you you do your job, uh, you, you've done it. But I wasn't I wasn't I did not get the Purple Heart or uh, the Distinguished Medal Cross. I because I was not in the actual combat where people were dying all around me. We we were we were not in that kind of situation. Uh, but 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 the fact that I had seen this and began to understand it, it began to incline me more toward the political arena. So that today uh, one of the important things that I do on the Committee on Judiciary as its chairman is to worry and work on developing an international consciousness about international rules of law. Because that's the only way now that uh, weapons of destruction are so plentiful and available. Even nuclear now is not a big deal. It's not like people, uh, if you, you want nuclear, people say, Psst, I, I'll show you where to get it if you if you really don't know. So we 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 now have what uh, one of the great international lawyers, Philip Sands, uh, from London, calls we have a a lawless world because until we go back to what uh, Churchill and Franklin Roosevelt did right during the war, is to see that we had to create a United Nations. We had to create a family of nations to control the impulses toward making power rule uh, the, that the, the most powerful people rule. And we have now what is frequently termed an imperial presidency because America still operates out of that mode. We don't regard uh, Geneva treaties and the protocols and the conventions, uh, even the anti-nuclear conventions that we signed, uh, the conventions against torture, witness Abu Ghraib, where, where we condone uh, treating prisoners any way we want, a as if uh, a schoolboy couldn't figure out that that's what they would do to our own troops when they're captured if we're doing it to theirs.